What does this guitar and a brand new Corvette have in common? Absolutely nothing. But you can win the guitar. On the new Corvette, well, you're just kind of screwed. That is correct. I am going to talk a, talk again about the Trace Taylor Great Guitar Giveaway. But before I get into that, real quick, send me photos of your guitars. I've had a few people already send them to me. And what I'm going to do is that at the end of the last video, and those of you who stayed to the end to watch it to find out that I'm doing this, kudos to you. You're all my brothers. Uh, those of you who didn't stay to the end, we got to talk. We seriously got to talk. Regardless of all that, at the end of the video um, that I put up last time, what I'm going to do is I want to do a video. I want to get uh, pictures of your all's guitars. You can send me your first name, last name, both names. It doesn't matter because I will be saying it, you know, on the channel. This is John's guitar and blah, 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 blah. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to guess the type of music you play by your guitar. And I'm going to bring my wife in on this. Um, I actually just got her. Her, I got her a, a new camera. I just bought a Sony FX30 uh, from the Cinema Line. I am a Black Magic guy. I love my Black Magic cameras, and to me, there's just they're just some of the best cameras on the damn market. Uh, but uh, for what we're going to be doing with this, because we're starting a new channel, I've talked about it in the past called Angry Flip Flops, and that is <laughs> one that my wife pinned. But there's going to it's going to have a myriad of stuff on it, and so we had to have something with a really fast autofocus on it. So. Um, because we're going to be doing all kinds of stupid things with it. So I went ahead and got her one of these. So you're going to see a lot of this coming up. And I'll keep you all informed when that channel breaks. And maybe something you're into, maybe something you're not into. But send me your photos. Me and the wife are going to be sitting here trying to guess the type of music you play from the guitar that you send me. So that should be pretty fun. I've already got some. Uh, some of the people who stayed till the end of the last video, uh, they've already sent me some. So that will be the very next video coming up. Uh, also, I am working on the video that was supposed to come up today was the uh, I'm doing the RG showdown. Uh, my voice is tired. I li literally went to bed like at four o'clock this morning and I had to get up at uh, 645 to go to work. <laughs> my voice is tired. Let's try that again. The RG showdown. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, I'm not, you know, the monster truck Sunday, Sunday, so I'm not that guy. But regardless of all that, um, the video that's coming up um, that was supposed to air today, but I, I just haven't had a chance to get it finished, is I'm doing one of the top-of-the-line most expensive RGs, which is obviously my J Custom, and I'm comparing it versus going up against head-to-head, -head, mono a mono on one of the cheapest professional RGs, which happens to be my 1120 Premium. Uh, so that video is in the works, and it was supposed to be coming up tonight, but I just have not had time to get that video finished. So... But I did want to go ahead and do a touch on this because we have not spoken about this in a while. So, like I said, the Trace Taylor Great Guitar Giveaway. I'm going to show this to you one more time. This is my beautiful RG 1070 PBZ. And uh, the amazing thing about this, the thing that kind of shocks me the most is I did a video on my 1120 PBZ, and, um, which is just an amazing guitar. It's also premium, and it literally has you know, one fifth of the views that this guitar has. And uh, that shocks me tremendously because they're both great guitars. But that obviously, obviously says that most people are looking, you know, on the Ibanez line for the S series guitars. So it just kind of took me back when I was looking at my videos. I really thought they would be a little closer in viewership, but this one's just bearing the other one. So most people are obviously wanting a 1070. Yeah, so that kind of shocks me because I thought the viewership would be a lot closer, but obviously more people want a 1070 PBZ than an, the, uh, the 1120 RG. Now, personally, I am an RG guy um, for many reasons. Uh, this is an amazing guitar, and that's not why I'm giving this away. is because I prefer RGs. That has absolutely nothing to do with it. This is a stunning guitar. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, let me show it to you one more time. And as you can see, this is in cerulean blue. And like I said, it's um, Panga Panga. Uh, the neck and the um, fretboard are Panga Panga. It is a mahogany body, 
It does have some pretty decent weight to it. I believe it's around seven and a half pounds. I haven't weighed this in a while. Do not hold me to that. It's got the standard fare DiMarzio pickups. It does have the locking, uh, the locking trim, and it does have locking tuners. Why do you want locking tuners? I get that question so many times, and I'm going to explain it real quick right here. The reason I like locking tuners is because when you're at a show and you break a string and you got 10 minutes to get to the next set, and let's say it just happens to be my main guitar. When you do not have locking tuners, you have to string it up, put it around the tuner, wind the hell out of it, stretch it, tune 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 it, because there's so much give in when you're putting the st uh, string windings around it. Now, you can do it where you put the ball in the end. Personally, I do not like that, so I do not do that. But with a locking tuner, put the string in, put it through the tree, pull it tight, lock the tuner down, give it one good stretch, tune it, you're done. You can just fly. I think all guitars should have locking tuners. It's just, you know, it's something that I, one of my preferences It's what I prefer. But anyway, back to the guitar again, and I've shown you all of this before, but I'm going to do it again. Look at the binding on this thing. Absolutely. I mean, this binding literally rivals the binding on my uh, J Custom, and I'm dead serious. This binding on this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. This guitar is flawless. Uh, there's no scratches, no dents, no dings whatsoever. I'm going to try to get it in the light so y'all can see. There's literally nothing wrong with it. It does come with a matching headstock. Um, unlike Sir, where you have to pay $400 for your matching headstock. This one you do not. Shame on Sir for doing that. They used to be they used to come on the guitars. This is the back of the guitar. It has no buckle rash whatsoever. As you can see, it is absolutely flawless does have the uh, ZPS system on it, which I absolutely love. One of my favorite things about Ibanez is the uh, trim system they put on these guitars. Got the five weights, got the standard DiMarzio pickups in it, and uh, the guitar is just amazing, man. It's a beast. But even though I prefer the RGs, because I was somebody was asking me a while back, why am I giving this guitar away? And uh, and I told him, I said, well, I, said, I really don't play it as much as, as I normally would. And he said, well, why not? Is there something wrong with the guitar? I said, well, absolutely not. I said, I just prefer RGs because they just, my playing style, they suit me better. And, um, but that is not why I'm giving this guitar away. So let's clear this up real quick. First off, when we hit 50,000 subscribers, this guitar is being given away to somebody. If you jump on my Patreon page, you can support this channel by jumping on my Patreon page, which is finally set up for the love of God. Um, for little as three dollars a month, and you get another entry into winning the guitar. You don't have to do anything. You you can just simply subscribe to the channel. You must be subscribed to the channel to get an entry into the guitar. That's the only way this thing works. When we hit fifty thousand subscribers, whenever that is. When I first did it, I put a year time limit on it. But you know, starting a YouTube channel from zero is incredibly difficult, and it takes a lot of time. And obviously, in what I do, there's ten billion music channels out there you know throw a dart and pick one so at first i set it for a year and but it, there was just no way we were going to get there obviously in that amount of time especially being as new as my channel was and as small as it was so but now we've got a little steam we got a little headway on it um so when we hit fifty thousand subscribers whenever that is be it this year next year it doesn't matter we'll hit it within two years obviously then we will give the guitar away. And if you jump on my Patreon page for those $3 a month, you get another entry into it. Uh, obviously, the goal is to get to 50000 as soon as possible so we can give this away and we can move on. But the reason I'm giving the guitar away, it's not so I can get a bunch of subscribers. I know a lot of people do that. Why did I? If that's true, then why did I put such a high number on it? Because I'm paying for this myself. I am not a rich man. This money comes out of my pocket. Ibanez has nothing to do with this whatsoever. YouTube has nothing to do with this whatsoever. Trace Taylor paid and bought for this guitar, and it will come in the original Ibanez gig bag that came with this guitar. So that's why I put such a high number on it, because I have to pay for these. But the reason I'm giving this away is because from the very first video, the very second video I ever did on this was with this guitar. Well, they were, they were all with this guitar. The first video I did was on intervals. If you haven't watched my video on intervals, watch it. For the love of God, watch the video on intervals. Change your life. The second video I did on this channel was a review of this guitar. And um, the reason I'm giving this guitar away is because I'm hoping that the channel gets big enough that I can afford to give a guitar away every single year to somebody. Because a lot of people, they can't afford guitars like this. You know, and it just... You know, and, and it does kill me because I get a lot of comments, you know, from people. They're like, hey, man, I would love to have the guitar. I can't afford it. 
And, you know, and that just that, that kills me because there's nothing worse than, than something you love and something you really want. And it's just right out of reach. And that that just kind of sucks. And, um, you know, and that's I mean, that's why we work our ass off right now. I literally work three jobs. I am not bullshitting you. I literally have three jobs. Uh, that's why I only get one video a week up. I simply don't have time. My wife works. She's a, a hygienist and a damn good one. And um, we work all the time. So we can buy and afford some of these things that we have. But I'm hoping whoever wins this guitar is somebody who really needs it, that is playing guitar, starting out playing, or whatever it is. Um, actually, one of my subscribers, I've mentioned this before, he said, dude, I've already got one. If you pick my name out, just throw it away and pick somebody else. Very cool. I do appreciate that. But the goal is to give away you know, a nice guitar, hopefully, every single year. That was the goal of giving this guitar away. Now, once we hit our 50,000 subscribers, it won't be like another 50, another 50, another. it won't be like that. Uh, once we get to that number to where I can start to afford to pay for all this stuff uh, from proceeds coming in from the channel, then the channel will be buying them at that point. And that's a whole different story. Then it will be much easier to give one because at that point, hopefully we just give one away, period. Every year we give one away, you know, no ties, no anything. Um, so that's kind of the goal of what we're going after here. So... Send me your photos so we can do this next video. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to guess the music you play by the guitar that you send me. That is the goal. And like I said, give me your first name, last name. I will put my email down in the description with my Patreon page um, and my Instagram, which, you know, I'm slowly working on the Instagram. I know I keep saying that, but son of a bitch. I'm just busy, damn it. So send the photos to me and... Um, you know, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to the channel so you get an entry to the guitar. And if you do join my Patreon page for $3 a month, you get another entry into the guitar. So in the guitar, as you see, is absolutely beautiful. Somebody will be winning this guitar. Uh, I've got to say this. This is not a gimmick. It's not BS because I've read stories where people do stuff like this to get subscribers and then it never comes to fruition. Somebody's winning this guitar when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Guaranteed. I don't play it anymore. Um, I don't take it to shows. I'll probably pull it out for the YouTube channel every once in a while. But other than that, it just sits with all my other guitars because I don't want to, you know, I want somebody to win a very, very nice guitar. So that is the whole purpose of this. And um, I'm pretty excited about it, man. Uh, hopefully we get to 50,000 pretty quick. So I'm pretty excited about giving somebody this guitar. That is just going to be awesome. An awesome thing to do. So. On that note, send me your photos, register to the channel, uh, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to my Patreon page. Like the great Sammy Hagar says, if you miss the beat, you lose the rhythm and nothing falls into place. Practice your guitar, practice your instrument, practice your piano, practice whatever, whatever instrument you're doing, practice. And for the love of God, learn theory. I'm going to say it again because, I, oh, I saw a whole new video out today about, you know, I just couldn't get my fingers to work. Well, it doesn't matter. You don't need your fingers to work. And I was like, what? What in the hell is this guy talking about? You don't need your fingers to work to play guitar? And it's to the point now, I just want to slam my face into brick walls. So um, more on that coming up. More on that one coming up. That's it. Practice your damn instruments. Learn how to play. Let's all be rock gods. And until the next video, rock on.